do you want to know what came up in the SBR March 24 exam? Well, I'm about to tell you. Now, I haven't seen the actual paper, but what I'm saying is garnished from the feedback I've had from many of my students. The first thing to say is that it was, of course, a tough and time pressured paper, but well prepared students who'd done mocks on the ACCA practice platform and more importantly had had them marked with feedback, well, some of them were pretty confident. I'm beginning to love question one with its pre populated spreadsheet. There were some group balance sheet questions. One of them involved foreign currency, discussion about how you might determine the functional currency. There was another question which involved goodwill. Again, a balance sheet question, dealing with deferred contingent consideration, talking about how NCI is measured and the impact of that on goodwill and a bit of consequences of pensions. Reminding us, of course, that accounting standards can appear anywhere in the exam, including in question one. Question two, of course, is always on ethics. And if you're gonna engage in insider trading and bribery, then clearly that is unethical behavior that needs to be stamped on. Other students had a very clever ethical dilemma revolving around crowdfunding, revolving around selling products that perhaps were faulty and prioritizing new customers over people entitled to the product before. So not a traditional, you got the accounting treatment wrong type of question, but more along the lines of ethical behavior. This is the way the exam is moving. It's quite noisy to understand what came up in question three and four. Revenue recognition was there for some people, mobile phone contracts, financial instruments, making sure you could distinguish between debt and equity, intangible assets, impairment around the determination of cash generating value in use. All good stuff, all set in the context of a practical scenario and questions I haven't seen. Brand names, intangible assets. And in terms of investor focus, and we should really be thinking about investor focus rather than current issues, investor focus about disclosures. Yeah, how useful is it to investors to have all of these disclosures in the accounts? And it gets me in the mind of that three letter acronym, TMI, too much information. I hope you found that a useful summary. My name's Tom Glendon. I help students pass SBR. Thank you for listening. If you want to pass SBR, get in touch.